Yummy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Always look for the sticker. Easy to do dinner recipe using, of course, high quality U.S. pork grain fed to perfection. Hello mga ka -chefies. Welcome to a special Christmas episode! Naku, alam kong marami tayong pinagdaanan at pagdadaanan pa, but I'm so happy because finally, my favorite time of the year is here, ang Christmas season. At syempre, masaya din ako because this is actually the second Christmas that I'll be celebrating with U.S. Pork. At isa pa sa ikinasasaya ko, of course, may subscribers na talaga namang patuloy na sumusuporta sa akin hanggang sa huli. Kaya naman today, I'll be sharing with you a special Christmas dish made of course from high quality ingredients like U.S. pork grain fed to perfection. Itong dish na to sigurado akong magiging patok sa mga noche buena at kung meron kayong mga i-a-attend na mga potluck parties. For today, I'll be sharing with you my roasted U.S. pork with applesauce. Punta na tayo sa kitchen! Welcome back mga ka-chefies! Magluluto na ako ng roasted U.S. pork with applesauce. So let me just get my U.S. pork from the chiller. Okay, here we go. So ito, I'm using the U.S. pork shoulder which is boneless and skinless. Actually, when this was delivered, uh, malaki siya. Actually, it's twice this size but I just halved it because I'm only gonna be needing half the amount. Of course, paano nyo ba malalaman kung U.S. pork ang binibili nyo? Just look for the U.S. pork stickers. This is available in major supermarkets. Of course, we'll be flashing on the screen kung saan ba siya mabibili. And U.S. pork products is also available in major wet markets in Metro Manila at a very affordable price. So, punta lang kayo dun sa frozen meat section. Ask the butcher because some are selling pork cuts from the USA. Meron sila dong pork liempo, pork kasim or pigi, pork loin, pork chops, and even pork ears. Actually mga ka-chefies, meron pa rin mga natatakot bumili ng frozen meat. Iniisip nila it's bad o kaya hindi na siya fresh. Baka yun yung mga natirang karne from the night before tapos i-resell as frozen. When frozen pork is actually not bad. Modern technology in the meat industry has greatly improved. Meat are frozen and packed right after slaughter to maintain its freshness and quality. The freezing technology now is actually better because it can preserve the freshness of the products. And what is more important is the wholesomeness of the product. Alam naman natin that the U.S. has the most stringent food safety standards. That's why consumers can be assured of U.S. pork's very high quality and wholesomeness. Okay, so let me now prepare our U.S. pork shoulder. So let me just take out... Ayan. Kasi syempre ay repackaged it. Yung kalahati dito nasa freezer na. Of course, you let this stay in the chiller for around, ako ginagawa kasi 24 hours before eh. Para talagang matho out siya. Lalo na to, malaki yung cut. We're just gonna score the fat. Yan, lightly lang with a crisscross pattern. Para mamaya, when we roast it in the oven, pag mainit, this will open up. So, maganda lang siya tignan aesthetically. So, just make crisscross patterns like so. Of course, pwede nyo rin i-message nga pala ang US Meets Philippines on Facebook to order, lalo na dun sa mga special cuts, yung mga malalaking cuts. Just message them on Facebook. Okay, let me now get a bowl. Let's place our pork here. And we will be uh, putting our dry rub. So, ang ating dry rub consists of salt. We also have white pepper. We have our, okay, this is cinnamon. Our um, allspice. Five spice. And our anise. Yung anise, 
wala naman kasi nabibili dito na yung mga powder or grounded na anis. So, kung bumili kayo sa grocery o kaya sa supermarket, just slice it or pound it. So, all we have to do is just put everything here sa bowl. And just rub it on your U.S. pork shoulder. So, this part is really good for roasting. Pwede rin kayong bumili ng U.S. pork belly if you like. Okay, so let's add everything here. And treat it with love. Masahihin nyo siya with the spices. Okay, so just rub it like so. Don't worry sa mga nanonood, lalay ko naman sa ating description box yung recipe para makakuha kayo or makuha nyo yung exact measurements so that you can try this for the Christmas season. Ayan, kapit ng ating dry rub mixture into our US pork. So what I'm gonna do next is just place this inside the chiller and let it rest for mga 5 hours para naman talagang kumapit yung lasa ng ating dry rub into our US pork. So cover muna natin siya. Pwede nyo ikling wrap, pwede namang just your kitchen towel and place it in the ref. Okay, so after 5 hours, kunin na natin ang ating US pork from the chiller. By this time, talaga namang kumapit na talaga yung lasa ng ating dry rub mixture into our US pork. Let me just rinse this off to get rid of the salt mixture. Okay, so once you've rinsed off the salt mixture, lagi lang natin siya ulit dito sa chopping board, and we have to pat this dry before we start roasting it. So, pat it dry. I already preheated the oven to 250 degrees Celsius. So, di ba, ang taas ng temperature. Para talaga mamaya, maluto na rin yung fat at makita natin yung pag-crack ng fat sa ating US pork. So, just make sure that it is dry. We could now place it here sa ating baking rack. There you go. And we will just rub this with some oil. So we'll bake this for 30 minutes on 250 degrees Celsius. After 250 degrees Celsius, pag nakita nyo na na medyo nag-brown na yung top part we will lower the heat to 100 degrees 160 degrees celsius and cook it further for around 40 minutes for 30 minutes tapos balikan natin siya okay so after 40 minutes let's just lower the heat to 160 degrees celsius and we'll roast this further for another 40 minutes. Balikan natin yun after. Okay, so while we're waiting for the U.S. pork to roast, gagawin ko na yung ating applesauce. First, we have here our green apples. I use green apples when it comes to cooking kasi ito mas firm siya as compared to the red apples. So, mas maganda siyang ginagamit pag nagluto. Kasi kung yung red apples, medyo mas mabilis siyang ma-disintegrate. And I like the flavor of the green apple as well. Kasi medyo tarty siya compared to the red one. Eh, since yung ating US pork, marami na tayong spices na nilagay na medyo rin on the sweet side, gusto natin in contrast naman yung sauce natin. So, medyo tarty. So, I think I'm just gonna need around three green apples. So, I just slice this. If you noticed, I used different spices. Meron akong cinnamon. I also used um, all spice, five spice. Yung mga spices na kas kasi na yan, it's often associated with Christmas. Kasi if you smell it, even like yung cinnamon, it will remind you that it's Christmas. Parang Christmas feels. Pagka ang mga pagkain natin, merong cinnamon. That's why I decided to make this. So parang naman, may ba yung kakainin ng pamilya nyo ngayong Pasko, hindi ba? So chop na lang natin siya kasi this will be cooked and then placed inside the blender or food processor. Para lang mas madali for our food processor to puree it later. So, let's now make our applesauce. Itong ating pan, painitin lang ng slide. And then, we're gonna use powdered sugar. So, just 
Put your powdered sugar dun sa ating pan. Again, sa mga nanonood ko na ka Chefies, lalagay ko yung ingredients sa description box para magawa nyo to. Okay? Don't worry. And then I have here our rice wine vinegar. This one, nabibili ito sa inyong mga groceries. Just go to the Asian products aisle and just mix it like so. So hanggang mag-dissolve lang yung ating powdered sugar dun sa ating rice wine vinegar. Medyo nag-dissolve na. Tanggalin lang natin ng konti yung mga lumps. Yan. Pisain natin ng ganito. <laughs> and then we could add in our vanilla. Okay, so we'll just continue to cook this for around 5 minutes. So let it boil and then simmer it once it boils. Para lang talagang lumasa yung ating sauce. Naalala ko nung Pasko, ako ang mga favorite memories ko for Christmas. When I was a kid, naniniwala pa ako kay Santa Claus. Sorry dun sa mga nanunod, baka may mga batang nanunod ngayon. Anyway, I used to believe in Santa Claus until I was 7 years old. And every Christmas time, so makikita ko dun sa Christmas tree namin, there are lots of gifts with my name. Unti-unti kong binubuksan yung mga scotch tape. Like on top, ba, pag nakabox siya, bubuksan ko yung top part para na makita ko ano yung naman ang regalo sa akin. Wala lang, curious lang ako. Medyo mahina ang EQ ko pagdating sa mga regalo. Pero ngayon hindi na. I really wait until Christmas Eve to open my gifts. Okay ba? Ano mga favorite na mga Christmas uh, traditions ninyo or mga Christmas memories? Baka I really remember that. At saka kami, kaya itong bata pa kami talaga, my parents would make us wait until 12 para mag Noche Buena. Kumain at buksan yung mga gifts. Hindi ko alam kung nasusunod pa yun ngayon kasi yung mga iba, maaga pa lang eh. Binubuksan na nila yung mga regalo nila o kaya kumakain na ng Noche Buena. Kami talaga, we wait until 12 midnight. Okay, so this is good. I lowered the heat already. Okay, now we could add in our green apples. So just mix it there. And then I have here lemon juice. So, just continue to cook this until medyo maging soft yung ating green apples. So, this will take around mga 5 minutes. Okay, so this has been cooking for around 5 minutes. I could not turn off the heat. Ayan. Tapos, ilalay ko na siya sa blender. Kung meron kayong food processor, pwede rin yan. There you go. So, we'll just set this aside. Tapos, balikan na natin yung ating U.S. pork. Okay. So, let me just check our U.S. pork. Ang ganda na ng pagkaluto. Ayan. So, what I'm gonna do next is just put it in the counter. Let it rest for a couple of minutes before I start slicing it. There you go. Look at that juicy, delicious U.S. pork. Diba? Ito na mga ka-chefies, tapos na aking roasted U.S. pork with apple sauce. Look at that. Diba? Parang napakasarap niya. Tingnan mo pala, napakasarap na. And it's really something new that you could share with your family. Siyempre, ang pinaka-favorite na part ko. Ang tiki man time para magkaalaman na tayo kung talaga bang masarap itong ating roasted U.S. pork. So, let me just get a slice. Naya pa akong kunin yung isang buong malaking slice, eh, no? Let me just get a small slice first. Okay. Small daw, pero medyo manapalaki ako. <laughs> Na-carried away si Chef Mom. Lagyan natin ang apple sauce. There you go. And let me just try it. Mm. Mm. Very juicy. Ang sarap. Mm. 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 Nako mga ka if you are gonna recreate this dish, make sure that you use only high-quality ingredients 
like QS pork grain fed to perfection. And when you do, do take a photo naman, tapos tag nyo ako sa aking mga social media accounts para naman makita ko kung na-enjoy nyo at ng pamilya nyo ang recipe na shinere ko sa inyo today. So this is my last episode for US Pork. It's the best season 2 this 2021. Again, thank you so much for joining me the whole year. Sana naman ay marami kayong natutunan. And of course, pag magkaroon ng season 3 to next year, join me again. Pero in the meantime, marami naman tayo mga US Pork. It's the best episode sa aking YouTube channel. So mag-binge watch na kayo. And like always, don't forget to like and to share my video. And kung hindi pa kayo nagsusubscribe, mag-subscribe na kayo and hit the bell so that you'll be notified when I upload a new video. Again, thank you so much mga ka-chefies. And for the last time, Thank you so much for joining me in U.S. Park. It's the best season two. Merry Christmas, mga kasheffies. Kain na ulit ako. Sobrang patok to sa pamilya ko. And I'm sure magiging patok din sa noche buena ninyo. Okay, let's get. Sobrang soft, sobrang juicy, and so flavorful. Mmm.